Hey Capricorn, it's Psychic Medium Tammy here coming in with your tarot reading for the first few days of April. And isn't it great it's springtime? <laughs> Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Capricorn, you guys have been amazing. I love you guys so much. Thanks, Thank you so much for coming in um, to check out my readings and subscribing and all the things. I appreciate it so much. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn for the first few days of April. Okay, I think some of you are being the hermit. Uh, first card up, what's really significant is you're taking time for yourself right now and you're um, thinking things through. I feel like you just sort of uh, sequestering yourself, you know, by yourself. You want to be isolated, you don't want to be bothered. You're trying to figure out what you want to do next and what you've learned from a recent situation. I feel like they're really thinking things through quite a bit. Um, you're kind of happy, but not totally happy. You know, I'm getting right here this um, Ace of Cups and it's like, not really. <laughs> it's a crossing card and it did come up upside down and I feel like you're questioning a love relationship. It's like... Okay, I'm with this person and it's okay. I mean, I guess I love this person, but I'm not really sure I love this person. And I feel like it's it's causing you to really question quite a few things that are going on in your life and causing you to be the hermit at this time. So Sagittarius, I feel like you're growing really impatient with money or trying to um, nurture some sort of project. Uh, there's something here about um, it's in your mind constantly like how much longer should I hang in here on this on this project how much longer should I keep putting money into this project or energy into this because I feel like you're really losing patience and you thought it was well, you thought it was going to go a lot faster um, than it is let's look at these cards these wanted to fall out um, there's a marriage here there's a marriage showing up this four of wands there's uh, the Seven of Wands, so um, yeah, I feel like you're being kind of um, defensive, kind of wondering if you have the advantage in a situation with this marriage. It's kind of a battle going on in a house or um, a marriage situation, a committed relationship. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we've got some upside down cards here. We've got upside down Seven of Swords, upside down Ten of Pentacles. There is a money situation that's going on here that I feel like you're getting really impatient about. And I feel like you are you maybe got into a marriage or a committed relationship or bought a house with someone or all of the above that has caused you to feel like you're on the defensive. You know, it's feeling like um, you've got to guard your space. And so you're being the hermit and you're pulling back. Um, feeling like maybe some things are being stolen or somebody's being sneaky or somebody, um, I mean, these could go to you as well, but this feels like it, it doesn't. It feels like it goes to the other person being kind of manipulative and sneaky um, about things having to do with this project and money and you putting money into things. And your money's not where you want it to be. I feel like finances at this point in time are making you feel unhappy and nervous. And the marriage itself seems to be causing a lot of this so it may be you married for money and it just is not working out well or the person married you for money and it's not working out well uh there's something there where there was supposed to be combined resources and it's not playing out the way that you thought it was like a disappointment it's just i just feel like you're stewing in it and i'm seeing more all the time why you're being the hermit you're over here being the hermit like i'm just gonna avoid that i'm just gonna stay away from that Okay, Sagittarius, moving into the past is some sort of a love relationship. I feel like there was a choice you made regarding love. Looks like it's flipped upside down too. And this is moving into the past. So you're letting something go regarding relationships. Um, sometimes this lover's card has to do with uh, three people. It has to do with love triangles and things like that. And I feel like that has gone on in your story and that's starting to move into the past like that's already happened and you're kind of over it so let's see what's coming up for capricorn coming up first of april well that one wanted to come out for sure 
Oh, okay. So we've got this um, Knight of Pentacles, but again, a lot of these cards are coming up upside down. So this Knight of Pentacles has to do with a small sum of money that you're expecting to come in, but may be delayed. He came up upside down. So I think if you're expecting some money to come in this week, um, I feel like it might be some kind of delay or some sort of hitch in the plan. So just realize that could be that could be causing a problem there. It can have to do with classes and school and things like that as well, but it feels more like money. This whole reading is really a lot about money. Okay, and here we have um, the Knight of Wands, and you want to move. You want to you want to get out of Dodge, <laughs> Capricorn. I am seeing you really wanting to take off, and this is going to be a little later in the month. Um, I think you're feeling it already, but you're going to feel it more. And again, it did come up upside down, so I feel like you're wanting to do it, but you're feeling like either you can't or you're a bit blocked or you're trying to figure it out, and it may be because this money that you're thinking is supposed to come in doesn't, or it's delayed or something along that line. But Capricorn, I'm feeling like you want to you want to hit the road. I just get this real strong sense that you want to be by yourself. You want to take your hermit self and go somewhere far away and get away from this whole sticky situation with the marriage and the money not working and feeling really strapped. I'm just feeling like some of you are feeling really strapped and trapped as, as well. Okay, so we've got Knight of Cups um, reversed and either the person you're with or the person you're with, the way this person sees you, if that makes sense, so you or your person, is feeling like there's a lack of trust. I get, um, a, a, there's definitely something that's happened here, I think regarding this threesome that happened in the past. Too many people showing up here um, for you guys to be comfortable, I think, and there's a lot of there's a lot of trust that's been lost. I feel like each person's looking at the other one like I just can't trust you anymore. I don't know how to go forward with this, and I feel like you can't even trust what they're saying or any offers they make you or anything that's coming or going, and you just want to get away from it. So let's see where this is going, Capricorn. It's complicated. <laughs> Ooh, it's complicated. I know your reading was last time too. Okay, this one wants to come out. Um, this is your um, King of Cups, and this is showing up like um, who you're kind of seeing yourself as and who you are at this time. There's a lot of emotion with the King of Cups. Um, this is somebody who wants communication, you know, who leads with their heart, and I just feel like you're kind of like, I don't know if I can be this person right now because it's kind of gotten me in trouble. It's sort of um, you know, and if you're, if you're a woman listening to this, I think you'll know. So you're either dealing with a king of cups or you have that cups energy where you lead with your heart and then you feel like it gets stomped on. And that's some of the problem, um, with what is going on in this whole situation with the lack of trust is that you're feeling like your emotions are just, um, you know, you can't trust them and you shouldn't put them out there. You can't wear your heart on your sleeve at this time because it's, you know, it's feeling like it's gotten you in a lot of trouble and you just don't trust it anymore. So let's see, let's see the final outcome here for Capricorn. Going into the 1st of April, Capricorn. There are two cards actually coming up here. Okay, so um, what have we got here? We've got Three of Cups and we've got this Page of Cups. Interesting. So your final outcome is there's there's new people coming in. Um, again, we've got this theme of three people. You know, we had the lovers going into the past, which is three people. Um, we've got this three of cups for you. I feel like there are um, three people who are kind of involved in this situation that's causing you to want to get away from it. Um, it's kind of caused a problem. This can be a celebration card. This could be some event you're going to or some celebration coming up and that sort of thing or get together. But based on the rest of this, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little leery to say it's a celebration. Could be. Could be for some of you for sure. There's also somebody new coming in. This could involve children. This is a page. Um, it's more likely involving that uh, telling me that you are involved with somebody who is acting childish. 
um, someone in this picture is acting very immature and wanting things, you know, the way they want them, being very demanding. And again, there's a little bit of a lack of trust and there's an immaturity that's showing up with this, um, with this whole, with this reading. And I feel like this is kind of your final outcome is you're going to be dealing with this person and, um, and maybe more than one person here. There's a lot of people here in this picture and it's hard to fit them all in as to <laughs> where they go. You will know watching this, how this resonates with you. And I hope this is making sense to you. So uh, let me know in the comments how this, how this resonates. Let me pull one more overview card for you, Capricorn. But um, if I had to just summarize this, I'd say, you know what? You're just going to jump in your car or your camp, take your camper or your motor home <laughs> and ride your horse off into, a sun, into the sunset for a while by yourself because you're really tired of all this. This looks like a lot of drama to me, Capricorn. It really does. It looks like a lot of drama and you look like you're feeling very stuck and very frustrated. I feel a lot of frustration coming from these cards and a lot of things stacked up. Like all four of these cards came out at once. That's very unusual and they all made sense with this whole reading. The competition that you're feeling potentially with your partner but also with your partner's partners or something. I, there's a lot of people here. Let me see one more overview card for Capricorn for today, okay? Just keeping it real, Capricorn, okay? Okay, your overview card is I think you're going to be leaving a situation. Um, there's, there's some kind of a breakup here. There's something where you're going to cut something loose. And I just feel strongly you've, you've really had it. I feel like you're going to kind of get out of this situation soon or you're wanting to, trying to figure out how. And, of course, money's a little bit tricky, you know, when I look at this. But this final outcome is it very much looks like there's a separation of some sort um, coming up, some kind of a divide, saying goodbye to something. So, um, hope that helps. <laughs> Sorry it's not a happier reading, but hopefully it helps you make some better, um, you know, some better moves so that you will be happier because this, this whole reading does not actually look super happy at the moment. Of course, things can turn around really quickly. And as my grandmother always said, this too shall pass, <laughs> okay? So hang in there, and thanks for tuning in, and you will have a wonderful day.